Yo, what's going on guys, Many here and welcome back to Sunday League with Under The Radar FC. Today we are up against Baltarks. Last and the only time we played them, we drew 1-1 in normal time. It went to penalties in which we proceeded to win. This is what the highlights were like. This time it's a league game, so there's points on the line and there's no extra time or penalties, nothing like that. So yeah, both teams have to be switched on. Anyway, let's get into the lineup. Today we have real one in goal, right back Jed, centre backs Tolu and Reggie, left back Qualms, a midfield three of Eze, Eric and myself. Out wide on the right we have Sam Bailey, over on the left we have Fred and through the middle we have Thomas. On the bench we have Benny, Tops and Toby. We know these lot are going to turn up and want to beat us and want to just... Um rattle us and talk rubbish. They brought a whole side last time and we're waffling. Let's make sure they don't have the right to waffle today. Understand, let's honestly be on it from the start, be aggressive, because we know they're going to be aggressive as well, but let's beat them to it. We are better than them, we know that, but we can't turn up and just think it's going to happen. We all have to do the work, that's all it comes down to. And hey, this has to be a team performance. It's not about, I don't know why, some of us are chasing the Sunday League Ballon d'Or. Like, we're not going to take it home and show it to our girls. Like, let's actually just focus on the team. If you have to pass, pass. If someone's in a better position than you and you don't pass, we are on you. And if we get on you, don't complain. If you don't score, we are going to get on you. That's how it works. But it has to be about the team today. Mm -hmm. um, from me, boys, we've, we've played them before. We know what they're like. We know the majority of their strengths and their weaknesses. Let's just be, let's be smart on it now. I don't want us forcing lumping balls for no reason. Let's recycle. Let's, let's actually work left to right. Let's actually play how we know we can play. I know we, have, we may have not been able to play with the pitches recently, but let's try. Let's try. Let's, let's trust each other, please. Front three, set us. Set our trap, please. I need my wingers to stay fucking wide. Stretch them, please. Look at the pitch. Thomas, you set it. Fred and Bailey follow. <coughs> Don't be lazy today. Today's a day of work for each other and for yourself. Okay? Yeah. And between the front three as well, let's get a bit of cohesion going as well. Like, all work for each other, get goals for each other, assist for each other. Assists are as good as goals. It looks better sometimes if you get the assist. So let's work for each other and get some cohesion going. Yeah. Boys, I'll just keep it simple. Marth is talking about us working hard. That's a given. You come Sunday, you come play Saturday, you play football in general, you have to work hard. But when we're on the ball, we have to have some quality. There's no point working hard and then we can't do anything in the final third. We have to show our quality, get our wide players involved. Last week we barely got Sam Bailey, we barely got Fred or whoever was out wide facing their wing backs or their full backs. Let's trust our midfield. We now have three comfortable players in the middle who can take it feet. Comfortable. I don't want to be seeing long ball and then saying, ah, trust our midfield. The worst thing they can do is set it back to you. Also, Back four, as a back four, as a team defensively, last week we were very poor. So focus on defending first. If you have time to keep the ball, that's when we trust our midfield. We just have to work hard, boys. Don't, it's not one of them games because they, like, who can shout the loudest. Mm -hmm. We're together. If they're talking, let your football do the talking. Amen. One goal, two goals, three goals, four, five. That's it. It's as simple as that. Boys, these guys haven't played a game in a while. They're out here fighting guys. They're getting bands. So let's show them welcome back. Yes, a, good, a good welcome back. 5 0 minimum. Work hard, boys. UT on three. One, two, three. You there. One, two, three. You there. One, two, three. You there. Let's go. Let's, let's go, go then. All right, here we go. Boggy pitch as it is standard. R9 right as the ref. No, I'm joking. He does look a little bit like Danny. Uh, but yeah, we are pretty much ready to go once the toss is finished and then uh, we'll get going. Ball tucks to get the game underway. 
to play back from the striker. And uh, yeah, the game begins. Number 10 on the ball, looking to thread it through. I'm not gonna lie, I'm not gonna uh, be able to call out numbers as easy because they've got the white numbers and I can't really see it as clearly, but I can see the 78 is trying to get to the ball. Fred gets there first, can he prevent it from going out for a corner? Just about, so throw into ball tarks. With that throw in, the 77 gets it into play. It's taken down by the 70. Why have they all got really high numbers? It's blocked by Reggie and behind for a corner. 10 goes to take it, uh, left footed in swinging towards the back post. Up against the 77, I'm able to put him off just enough and Jed clears it up the field. It's uh, back into play with their left back. Tolu trying to get to the ball, he's slipping and sliding there. 45 driving towards the byline. Tolu uses his strength and pace to recover. 77 on the corner from the left hand side, in swinging and it's palmed away by Rills. It's going to come here to the 70, can he do something to get away from Thomas? This is decent uh, from Thomas to push him out wide, especially for a striker. A lot of attackers don't know how to defend but that's decent from him there. He's done enough and Eric should be able to get rid of uh, the ball for UTR. It's going to get us down the line for Fred maybe and Fred up against that guy, wins uh, uh, the challenge there, beats him to the ball. He's got Sam at the back post, looks to pick him out. It's decent defending from the yellow boots, gold boots, whatever it is. Uh, but ball tarts will deal with it. Play moves on. Tolu wins the first header. Comes down to the 10. He gets it only as far as Eze though. Nice feet from Eze to turn in between those two. It's back to the ball tarts goalkeeper in the luminous green kit. Luminous green or yellow? What would you call it? I'm not sure. It's with this guy who's slipping and sliding. It's not an easy surface but he's lost out to Eric here. Eric has myself to his right. He's got Fred to his left. He's got Thomas making a late run into the box. Thomas has made the run. Gets there. He goes for it and it's dragged wide of the post but it wasn't far off to be fair. It's been a good start to the game so far from both sides. This time it's uh, Jed challenging for the ball. Comes straight back to him from the 77. Wins the second ball as well. I kick it off his feet. Uh, it's cleared further away by the defence. Only as far as Eze. A couple kick-ups from Eze into my feet. Uh, able to get the ball around the corner. But he's uh, not got a lot of support around him at the moment. Little nutmeg there from Eze. He's starting to enjoy himself. Jed with the throw in from the right hand side, straight to a gold shirt, stabbed up by me. It's come to Eric here, he's going to be dragged to the ground by I think the 70. Sam's had a lot of good fortune with free kicks this season, goes for it straight down the middle this time though. The keeper catches it. Uh, once he's uh, cleared his box, he looks to play out from his defence. I think they're playing a three at the back uh, uh, to begin this game with. They've given it away to Sam Bailey though, he's throwing a goal and Sam is like one person you don't want to give the ball to in that position, that sloppy from ball tucks, they know it. And uh, they've lost possession very cheaply there and they've given us the lead just under seven minutes. Like I said, Sam is one person you wouldn't want to give the ball to there, especially once he gets in on that left foot, he's uh, most likely uh, going to score. Sloppy from them, comes here to Sam, picks his spot and the bobble even takes it past the goalkeeper. So then, UTR have struck the first blow, but it doesn't mean it's going to be an easy game by any stretch of the imagination. Jed's gone flying in there. He's won the ball first. He slipped as well, but nevertheless, it's a bit of a dangerous challenge. Regardless of him slipping or not, the referee's got the yellow card ready. We're not really for that, but then again, same time, you can see why, because once he goes in like that, yeah, the studs are up as well. So uh, it's gonna be, I can, I can see why the referee's given the yellow card. A little bit unfortunate from Jed as well with the slip, but at the end of the day, the referee's gotta do what he's gotta do, and he's gotta keep the game in check, so it's a yellow card for Jed. 10 then, uh, from the left, looking to switch it into play. Comes down here to a ball tuck shirt, he's done well uh, to get into his uh, other player there. Eric on his heels though, Fred's there as well. He's done well to get through that gap though, 77. Can he release the ball for ball tucks now? No, that's good from Eric. Oh, oh, that's even better from Eric with the little flick through Nutmeg. It's just, it's a little bit jammy, but at the same time you can see he definitely meant it. Sam driving through with the ball here, trying to find Thomas and he can't quite do so. Ball tucks will regain possession. They have it in their box, uh, they're looking to clear it. I've been sent for a sausage roll by the 78. I can't even remember his number, I think it's the 78, but with one possession back from Fred's challenge, it's good from UTR to keep the ball moving. It's Quams into Eric. Eric looking to get us to play again. Quams on the edge of the box, he struck it nicely. It's gonna come into Fred, drops to Sam. Oh, we can't keep this one down, it's into the trees. That was decent build-up play from UTR though, I like it. Over on the far side, there's a tussle of uh, possession between the left wing back and Eric. Uh, he's won out of possession there, but he's given away to Eze. Eze looking to play a pass forward to our strikers. It's into Fred. Fred. Oh my goodness. Fred. Oh, you would bet your money on his recent form that he'd score that, but he's dragged it wide. That could have been 2-0 so easily. 
We have an opportunity for a throw in from deep with Tolu. It's a long throw. We know he's got that in his locker. Thomas driving. He's got Fred in the box. He's got myself making a late run there as well. Ah, this time he's going to commit the foul. Ball tucks in possession, just inside our half. Sam looking to win it back for us, but he's dropped the 26th to the ground. That's a free kick. They're looking to play quickly with the 10. He seems to be their playmaker of the team. He's played it out wide to this guy, the 78, up against Fred and Quams. It's good defending. We're looking to get back possession, though. Eric wins it for us. It's into Fred. Uh, Fred has Thomas in the middle. Eric making a little lazy jog towards the box there. Fred this time just tripping over his feet or the ground there. And we've lost it. It's at the back of Real One. As he's dropped into that centre back role there. And he's uh, played a lazy pass back to Reels. Reels being a bit risky here as well. He's under pressure from a couple ball tuck shirts, but he gets the ball up the pitch. And Sam Bailey's going down this right side. The linesman flags, stays down. He's got Fred at the back post. Thomas in the box. Me making a late run into the box. And it's straight into the keeper's hands. They're trying to get on the break. It's at uh, the 10. Looking for a ball uh, forward here. But Reggie's going to deal with it. He's going to be first to it. It's back to Real One. Again, a bit of a risky touch from him. It's not the pitch you want to do that on. And we've shanked it out of play this time. It's uh, rolled into Jed. He's looking to get us playing again. Thomas's jump might have put me off, but the touch is awful. It comes here to Sam Bailey, looking to get a shot off. It's deflected. That's come here to me, trying to find Fred once I've heard his voice. It's gone a little bit too far for him, though, but he's going to get to the ball uh, first, ahead of the gold shirt. He's done well to shimmy away from the 78. Go towards the box. Decent ball into the box as well. Nice control from Thomas. Slipped a little, and the shot is uh, straight down the middle, unfortunately. UTR have the ball in good possession. Eric into Eze. Eze for Sam Bailey down this right hand side. Gets in between the gap, tripped a little bit. Referee sees nothing wrong with it. Ball tucks continue to play on. They've rolled it back to their goalkeeper. Dangerous on this pitch. Comes here to me, taking one touch. Swiped it with the left foot. And from my angle, it looked like it was going top bins. But it looked like a routine save for the goalkeeper in the end. We've taken that corner short. Eze looks to get one uh, for the back post. Reggie trying to keep it in play with the acrobatic. It's not worked. They're playing again quickly. 45, waiting for the ball though. And Reggie's allowed to use his body and step in. Done well to win it back for us. Good feet to get through uh, there. And he's played it into Thomas's feet. Tries to knock it around the corner for Reggie. Loose touch from the ball to the defender. Uh, comes back here from Thomas to myself. Try and get through to Sam. And it's not come off. Eric on the ball now, uh, finds my feet, uh, onto Thomas, Thomas has Sam out wide, played a pass in behind the defender, looks like he might not get there but Sam's gotten there in the end, we've got two, three shirts in the middle, Thomas calling for it again, he gets it to feet, comes here to Eric on the edge, Eric fakes to go inside, Eric fakes to go back outside, he's dropped the defender but he can't keep the ball close enough and maybe he should have got a shot off earlier. It's thrown into Thomas, uh, up against, I think that's the 89 on the far side, 26 trying to get involved there, I'm able to escape there from a couple players, able to get into the box, try and get across, that's good defending for him to Stop it from Fred. The ball could have been better though. It's uh, 70 on the ball, keeps it in play. Uh, up against Quams, he seems to have overcommitted. He's able to drive towards the byline, cuts back inside, goes with the left foot, and he's gone for it for goal, I think, in the end. It's not far off. Another race for possession. 70 on the ball once more. He's able to hold off Quams. He's on oh, the wrong side of Quams as well. He can't make a challenge. Comes here to Reggie. He's uh, played it through Reggie's legs, but only as far as Tolu. And uh, UTR will be able to bring the ball forward with Eric here. He's uh, assessing his options, looking to find side. I'm just going to cut it back here into Eze. And uh, Eze's going to knock one around the corner here. Sam looks to have beaten the offside trap, whatever they tried there. Sam on his left foot, looking for an option. And he goes for the shot. It's wide of the left post. They've knocked one forward. Again, something for Tolu to deal with. He's done well there. Eze is going to be second to the ball. Tries to flick it over. He's slipped there. Comes to the 77. Good from Eric to get through that gap. Eric uh, brings the ball away from UTR. I've played it out wide here to Thomas. Thomas with the flick onto Sam. Sam's on side. Uh, heads it down. Sam goes with the right foot. Oh my goodness. Sam's made it 2 0. The confidence in this guy right now. You can't argue too much when he shoots. Sometimes we might complain, but if he's scoring, no one can complain. That's 2 0. And Sam, with his second goal of the game, he's been a man in form this season, continues it. Very consistent, actually, in terms of goal scoring. And you can see that again there the confidence to take that on, heads it down, and even with the right foot there, that's a brilliant strike. Goalkeeper hasn't got much of a chance when he takes it that quickly. Talks in a bit of trouble now. 78 on the ball here, trying to get away from Eric. There's a bit of tussle for possession now. Both players go to the ground. The referee points in the direction of ball talks. It's their free kick. Man in the undershirt, left footed, looks to whip it into the box. Looks like a decent delivery. Tolu does well. He puts it out for a corner. That then goes into the box from the 77 towards the back post, and it's gone all the way through. 
They've got a bit of space in the middle now. Uh, it seems like they're trying to break on the counter. It's against this number 70 up against Qualms. Uh, he started to win that battle, but this time he has forgotten one rule in Sunday League. Watch the bobble. And even at times, that's impossible. We've just cleared it. Comes down to the 20. Good control initially, but Eric's done well to win the ball back from him there. And he's also won the free kick. I have to say his tackling's been good so far this game. It's uh, Fred there trying to win possession for UTR, claiming for a foul. The referee's not hearing any of it. It's a ball forward here for Reggie to deal with, and he's done so pretty nicely. It's out wide here with a ball tuck shirt. Man in gold pushes it past Eric with a step over. Eric's not letting him go though. Eric wants to take him out for Valentine's. He's been pulled back. Uh, by the referee as well for a free kick and it's a yellow card that Eric's going to pick up. It's an easy yellow card though, we know that. 78, looks to get that one into the box. It's only as far as my head. Uh, drops down to the number 10 here, looking to get away from Eric. Good for uh, work from the front from Thomas to win the ball back for us. Sam down this right hand side, has the 89 chasing him. He's got Eric in the box, got Fred uh, making his way towards the box as well. Comes down here to this man, he's headed it straight to Eric though. Eric with goal at his mercy and he makes no mistake. This time it's 3-0. And UTR just on the stroke of the 45 minutes for half time. Eric makes it 3 0. And there he's talking to their fans because I think he must have been hearing some noise. He's saying, Am I hearing you now? Don't think so. It's 3 0. And uh, UTR fully in control now. Big mistake at the back. That's two for them. And uh, there's some cause for concern, concern. I think they were playing a makeshift back line today. And it happens in Sunday League. It happens to us a lot as well, where people don't turn up, people pull out last minute. And that, unfortunately, sometimes is the result. So then, they have a lot of work to do if they want to get back into this game. It's 3-0 at half time. I think one thing from my perspective that I was really happy with is as a team, we played together, we pressed together, we worked hard for each other and we made sure that if it's a battle, we were here to win it. So 3-0 at half time, it's looking good. The game can be whatever score we want it to be, it's literally down to us. Yeah. Bro, you know we won the game, but the second half is always going to be a thing where they're going to try um, annoy us as usual. It, now, even though it's 3-0, no, the next goal is crucial. Yeah. So let's, let's make see, it, let's see what happens. They're so shaky at the back, hey, but Be careful, be careful. Fred said it before. They're playing that same ball yeah. to their right, wherever he's playing, right side, yeah? And they are getting balls in the box. We are lucky they can't cross yeah. the ball. Yeah. Oh, listen. Because the first five minutes, yeah, we could have been 1-0 down because we literally. look shaky. We have to be sure. Quams, the map, I don't know, it, may, it looks like to me sometimes they overload you in terms of you have one and then Reg has to come to your man and then I have to go over and then there's a huge gap. We have to do it early. Worst case scenario, get Fred in like you did in the last 10, 15 minutes. That yeah. way it's just, it's just easy. That, that's, 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 that, that will happen sometimes, but sometimes it will be for you just to delay them. Yeah. If you delay them, we can shuffle across right. and then you won't, he won't have to. Okay. Or, or the option won't be on for them to do it. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Just for your knowledge, yeah, they're playing 3-5-2. Are they? Just yeah, about. they're playing 3 yeah. 5 I think, Did they not change it? No, they didn't. They, didn't. Yeah. they just they kept it free. They kept it as a free. But one thing, yeah, Fred, Sam, Listen, 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 listen. Stretch them as much as possible. Because yeah. the counter to a 3-5-2 is a 4-3-3. Three, three. So every, everything you're doing is stretching them and that back three has to stretch. Their wing backs are actually cheating at all points. They're not actually coming back. That's why that's why you're finding so much success. So keep doing it. Midfield, love what you're doing. Honestly, same with the defence right. and attack. Alright boys, listen, 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 listen. From me. Alright boys, listen, 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 listen. Honestly, good first half, but the job's not done. We still have 45 minutes to play. So we cannot drop our standards now. What we've played in that first half, if we play that old, who knows what the score's going to be? Yeah. We, I, one thing I will say, I'm f with our clinical even. We've taken our chances. Can we take more? Mm. We're going to get more, so can we take them? On the second half, that's all I have to say, boys. Great, boys. Well done. Into the second half, we had the levels in the first half. We have to keep them in the second half. That's the way you win games. Football is a game of two halves, and we hear that saying all the time. It's true. We have a free kick inside our half, taken by a real one. Uh, looking for Thomas, it seems. The first man's missed it, 78 there. Uh, too strong Thomas there for him. Thomas on the left foot, again, straight at the goalkeeper. Yet again, another kick for a real one to take. We know he's got consistency on this and he goes for the same kind of technique. It's here from Thomas to me. It's a great save from the goalkeeper to react there. Oh my goodness, when I saw that, I was like, how has that not gone in? It was quite central yet again. But when I thought, I was thinking those were good reactions. And if you see there, just at the last minute, under pressure from their player, he's done enough to put me off and my contact isn't the greatest either. But great save from the keeper. He's done a good job there. The corner from the right-hand side into the box, punched out and behind for another one. 
This time from the left, it's Eze towards the back post, headed out by that big man there. Comes down here to the 77, decent first touch initially to get away from Tolu. I've done enough to put it out of play and I've had to play a little game of 10 meter hurdles. Sam with the corner from the right hand side, looking for the back post. Tolu's arriving there, but I think it's just gone behind off him. I don't think he knew too much about it. 77 on the ball for the men in gold. That's a brilliant pass, well weighted. It's bounced away from the player a bit. He's gone in a little bit high on real and we saw a challenge like that, that sidelined him for a bit uh, a few weeks ago. This time the referee points for a goal kick. A little bit of a warning shot there for UTR though. First substitution of the game is going to be a brother exchange. Toby is making his way onto the field in place of Jed. I'm going to make my way to right back and Toby will go to the right wing position. That's going to leave Sam Bailey in the 10 roll and Eric Eze in the middle. It drops to Sam this time. Fred there, going in behind. Fred holds him off. Done enough. Oh, he's not done enough to get in the back of the net. Maybe three inches to the left and that could be a goal. But it's so close there. Unlucky from Fred. Over on the left, Quams has it. Tries to get through there. Quams, again, some good work to get through that gap. A little bit of jam as well, just like it's a game of FIFA 22. Comes out here to myself. Little fake inside. The touch is heavy though, and the 78 is able to pick up possession here. He's driving forward. He's got a couple of men going forward with him as well. Gets away from Tolu there nicely. Going towards the box. Plays it to the 30. Goes for the return pass. Cuts inside. I've slipped there. And Ruan's got safe hands. Thank God for that. Over on the left, it's bouncing out here to Fred. 69 looking to get on the ball there. It's flicked away from him by Fred. He's going to kite back here. Has he got any options there? I think he's going to go to the feet of Thomas. Thomas this time loses out to the 78. And again, that's a, de a decent bit of defending from him. He's now with Thomas. Looks like we're trying to get a counter-attack going here. Toby looking to use his pace down this right-hand side. We'll get stuck under him a little bit. Goes across. He's been caught there by the 78. He's gone to ground. We're calling for the free kick. Referee seemed to see nothing wrong with it initially, but there you can see he's not got the ball, totally missed it, and that is definitely a foul. Toby getting a sore one there, as he always seems to do. They're getting forward again, down this left-hand side. Almost 70 minutes have been played. Uh, I'm waiting to try and hold up the 20, I've done enough. Toby has come here to steam back and give me some help as well. They're still able to get the ball into the box though. Hit off for Tolu, uh, real one, great reactions to keep it from going in. That could have been 3-1 easily. Comes back out here to the number 70, and uh, Kwam seems to do enough there and also win possession back for us. Let's take one more look at this though. It's a good ball from the left foot of the number 20. It's a dangerous area. Tolu does enough to get that guy to the crown there. The real one, good reaction save there. And I think he's hurt his shoulder in the process, but again, a man who will die for the badge. They've got a throw in uh, with the number 10. Flicked on by the first man. Uh, drops down to the 26, tries to control it with his chest, can't quite do so. Flicked over by 77, flicked once more. Uh, I've intervened there and it's gonna come across to the 70. Looks to get across, good defender from Tolu. Comes back to his feet here. Number 20 on the ball now, looking to find a way to twist and turn and also find a pass through to the number 70. He's done so, it's a ball across the box. This guy's missed it. Oh, it's come off me, it's an own goal. It's an own goal. Oh my goodness, but it looks like I've been saved by our linesman. He's called for offside and oh my goodness, the sweat on my forehead at that point. Number 70, great ball, but that guy's in an offside position. And it's crazy because Sunday League Linos most times would not call that. So thank God for our Lino, he's made the right decision and saved me an own goal. That would not have been nice. Second substitution, Benny's gonna make his way onto the pitch in place of Thomas. It looks like we're replacing the exact same player. These guys are too wham. Goodness, give me that routine from the gym. It's come back to Tolu, clears it up the pitch, controlled by Benny initially, goes in for a 50-50 with that guy, he's never pulling out of that 50-50 Benny, comes here to Fred, Fred looks to get one across goal, or has he, has it gone into the goal? It's gone through the side, it'll be a goal kick to Bulltox. It's a little bit scrappy here, Tolu gets a boot in, Eze uh, gets a flick in, Eze trying to keep it for us, he's gone to ground, wants a free kick, referee sees nothing wrong with it, so, uh, 26 has played it against my chest, Toby comes back to help me out again, trying to take it past the 26, he's been pulled back though Toby, and we get the free kick. From that free kick, we're going to take it quickly. It's down the line for Sam Bailey. He's got Toby inside. He's been pulled back by the 26. Referee is also going to pull it back for a free kick. That free kick is taken by Eze. Floated towards the box. It's uh, missed Benny out there. Comes back here to Eric. And he sliced it way out. Bulltox looking to play out with the 20. Comes here to the 77. He likes flicking it over people's heads. That's nice skill again from him. Out here to the 26. Uh, Tolu steps in now. It's uh, work for me to do there. I've poked it out. And I think it's come off the 26 in the end uh, for a throw the referee's deemed. And they're not happy with that. Actually, to be honest, I think I got more of the ball, so maybe it came off me last. Ruan's got the ball in his hands. Looks for a drop kick up the pitch. It's for Benny to chase. And don't be deceived by Benny's size. He's got a bit of pace on him there and also a lot of strength. He's there holding off uh, the 78 there. 78 does enough to get round him though. And he'll go out for a UTR throw. Quams is going to take that throw in. Uh, Eric under pressure from the 77. Quams takes it away from him. Uh, plays it into the box left foot. Uh, Toby with the outside of his boot as he loves to use so much. And it's found its way into the back of the net. That's 4 0 to UTR. Toby celebrated there. Uh, in front of the 26, says he's fuming from before they had a little bit of an altercation. 
Uh, but Toby silencing in there with a goal. Let's just see, does this count as Toby's goal? Are you guys giving this yes or no? Uh, it's 4-0 to UTR. So far, we've kept the clean sheet. Uh, despite them having a couple of opportunities this half, but that's nice from Quams to get the ball into the box, and I think that is going to go down as an OG there, I think. Quams with the left foot across, Toby with the attempt, and it's hit off the goalkeeper. Eze with a free kick then, uh, floats it towards Toby. Uh, 26 there, gets to it first, 78, hits it off Toby. He's hit Toby in the eye as well, I think. Both players have gone to ground there, ball tucks in each other's way. It's Eric on the ball. Eric trying to send this guy, he's doing a little bit too much like myself from FIFA. It's into Sam, Sam cuts back, Sam looks to shoot. Sam with a uh, shot and it's a good save from the goalkeeper. Brave defending from them there and they'll get a goal kick out of it, but we should have done better. They've got a corner, 77 whips it into the box there. It's dropped to ground, it looks like, is it over the line? It looks like it might have crossed the line. Reels is holding onto it for dear life. There's a lot of bodies in there. Reels is still holding onto it for dear life and it's good to have a big, strong goalkeeper for sure. Uh, he looks to get us up the pitch very early as well uh, with a good kick there uh, all the way to Benny. Can he bring it down? He's done so, he's got a player to beat. Done enough to beat him there with a bit of skill. Goes for it and he forgot the Sunday league rule. Watch the bobble. Let's take one more glance at this. It's in swing in there. It's a good ball as well. Dangerous area. Drops to the ground. Ruan does enough. And I don't think it's crossed the line in the end. You can see it. But real is good strength from him to hold on to it and make sure we do not concede. The clean sheet is still very much alive. Thanks, Rules. Ball Tarks looking to clear their lines. They've brought their gaffer on as well. I think the number 52 looks to swing a ball around the corner. Doesn't look like a bad ball. It looks like UTR should be able to deal with this. Reggie this time's kicked it up against the 70. Comes to the 20. His shot's a bit safe there. And Reels is able to pounce on it. But yeah, referee's whistle goes, that is it. It's a 4-0 victory. At times, this game wasn't made easy for us at all, but we got the goals. We were a little bit more clinical than them when it mattered. So we'll come out with a clean sheet, which I'm very happy with. And Ball Tarts will be seeing you again later in the season. Well played. We'll see you uh, again. After, after the last um, three weeks, I have to say, that's our best hey, performance. Connect the circle, though. What's going on? That's our best performance in the last three weeks. We've played lesser teams than this, and we've struggled a bit at times, but today we didn't care about the pitch. We played our football in the first half, played them off the park. The only thing is, yet again, we let our foot off the gas, relaxed. One thing I'm happy with is we kept the clean sheet. Mm -hmm. Even though at times we were lucky, yeah. against better teams, we could concede three, four, five, and maybe be losing that game. Man, come on, man, five goals. <laughs> Bro, <laughs> the amount of goal line scrambles there was a bit mad. But we got the result, we fought for each other, and we, we came out of the win, so I'm happy. Um, for me, I feel like we, we did everything we said we were going to do. We actually played football today. We looked after the ball and we bodied them off the pitch. Obviously, we're always going to have little mistakes throughout the game, but boys, as Manny said, this is our best performance in, what, three weeks? So well done. Hey, Sam Bailey, straight goal. Well done. Back four, again. Back four, again. Solid, well done. Quam, you had that guy in your pocket, bro. Differently. 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 He thought he was going to have a game. He had one leg, bro, and you still find him like that. You kept running down the line, you're like, all right, man. And hey, MOM, I have to say it, though. Eric was brilliant, guys, twice the same. Well done. Wait, Eric is man of the match. I'm missing out. 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 But, 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 boys, one thing, though. Last 20 minutes, we got about three chances where we could have squared it, or we have to be more clinical with our shooting. Like as we said, at half time only five nil. That could have been a ten nil game or eight nil game if we take if we take our chances. Yeah. So let's be more clinical going forward. But well done. On to next week, boys. Yeah, well done. Everyone, everyone got Benny's ball back. Take that hammer out your boots. That's it for another week of Sunday League though, guys. If you have enjoyed it, make sure to hit that like button for us. Subscribe if you're new, keep coming back. Make sure to check out the UTR channel as well. Check out Many Plus and Many Clips. And I'll talk to you guys soon. Peace.